Saturday morning, not a good day. Been at work. No one likes working on a Saturday, including myself. Um, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Anyway, I've got the rest of the day to myself. What I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna go for a nice little run, probably about four to five mile. Um, but on the way round, on the run, I'm gonna stop off at a hill uh, and show you Heartbreak Hill. A lot of people have heard about it. A lot of people fear it, especially when they come into phase one training at Purbright. Um, so I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough, talk through of Heartbreak Hill. That's, that's me, the, the little warm up, done nearly two miles. Uh, not too far away from Heartbreak now. It's nice, it's heavy warm up. Uh, I've been about 8 30 miles, really nice and slow. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna see what hard weight looks like. Okay, so as you can see, start of hard break right behind me. Uh, I've just done it a couple of times. Really nice, we're going to walk you up it, um, show you the whole thing, show you what the footing's like, give you a good idea of when you get it, if you want to try it, or when you try it, uh, just let you have a good feel for it. So that's me just walked up here. To be honest, walking up, still a lick. Uh, with the ground, all the roots hanging out the ground. It's pretty much like climbing upstairs. Uh, it's a tough hill, not gonna lie. Uh, but it's a good hill. Uh, good for mental robustness. Um, yeah, it's decent. So what you want to remember is when you start off, yeah, it's a sprint. Yeah, you get up to it as fast as you can. However, if you start off as fast as you possibly can, you'll die out quick, your legs will die out. I would start off at a good pace and maintain that pace all the way. And on the final bit, push as hard as you can, swap the top, you have got nothing left. Give it your all. Don't forget. Obviously watch your footing on the way up. Um, your choice of footing is always good as well. That's a good tip to give you. Make sure you use the arm, get the momentum, help you get up there. Uh, and then yeah, on the way back down, just recover as quickly as you possibly can. So recovery is key for this. Um, quicker you recover, the better you perform on your next sprint up. Me back from the run now. Did you look at Heartbreak Hill? Uh, hopefully, it gave you 
a better idea of what to expect if you're coming to phase one training or maybe you just want to look back and see remember what it was like if you've already been whatever or maybe you just want some tips on running up a hill i don't know so remember don't start off too fast uh, you want to start off at a good pace try and maintain that pace as much as you can as far as you can all the way up the hill uh, when you get to the top make sure you give it everything you got it's a bit of a, a bit of a grind when you get to the top it's really steep uh, like i say it's like walking up steps um, just push through it don't stop until you get on the top on the flat bit. make sure you use your arms for momentum so really swinging them arms across your body getting them up pumping them uh, that will help you massively make sure we're always looking up always looking up at the top of the hill one you want to be focused on the top you don't want to be focusing on what's what's at the bottom what's on the ground when we're focusing on the top picturing yourself getting up to the top of that hill as fast as you possibly can um, also if you're looking up you know that helps us open that air reach. make sure we're taking deep breaths when we're on the way back down the hill just let the hill take you um, relax those arms relax your muscles let the hill do the hard work going down really slow that breathing down I mean, the fastest you recover, the easier the next hill will be. Okay, so if you enjoyed that video and you got any value out of it, click the like button. Think about subscribing. If you subscribe, we're going to be doing more videos in the future of different hills on the area, uh, different routes. We'll look at the RFT, the beat test, uh, different bits and bobs, giving you all sorts of little tips for what to expect. Um, on PT when you get to phase one training. Thanks for watching, catch you next time.